welcome to my channel. My name is Graciela, for those who don't know me. Mother's Day is coming up next Sunday, and I thought that it would be really, really nice to go ahead and make a makeup tutorial for that day. So um, this is what I came up with. If you would like to see the video how I got this look, please keep watching. So I'm gonna be using the Neutrogena Shine Control Makeup. Um, this, uh, I actually, mine expired, so I went to get myself another one. This is a full coverage kind of makeup. It's a pharmacy makeup, so it's actually, it's a pretty good makeup. So I'm gonna try it for this makeup. I haven't used it in a while, like this one. So yeah, let's, let's put this on. My color is Classic Ivory number 10. And so I'll make sure that you shake it well. This has SPF 20. Um, I completely forgot about this foundation, but when I was doing my empties uh, and I had to throw the other one that I had that was expired, I was like, oh, I remember this was pretty good and full coverage. So because um, I I think with uh, for Mother's Day, we're going to go out and we're going to be outside. So this one is perfect because it already has SPF 20 in it. So anyway, I'm just gonna apply some all over my face. So that's all done. So for my concealer, of course, like always, I use my Tarte Tape Shape. My color is Fair, Fair Beige. And I use just three little dots because this just goes like a long way. So. And I use my beauty sponge to just spread it out. Blend, 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 blend. Beat this face. Let's set up my under eye with my, where is it? With my Tarte Smooth Operator. I just do my under eye with this. And I put just like a fluffy brush like this. And just set my under eye. And then now for setting my whole face, I'm gonna use the Fit Me by Maybelline. And my color is, what is it? Toffee Caramel. I'm gonna use this, it's kinda of like bronzy, but it's a nice setting powder. So I use a fluffy brush. And I just put it all over my face. set so now I'm gonna go ahead and use my my Anastasia brow definer 
to do my eyebrows, but I'm gonna do that off camera and I'll be right back. All right, so my eyebrows are all set and let's get into the eyes. So I was thinking about doing a little bit of a lighter, like coppery color or like a goldy color that you can use during the day. We're probably gonna go for brunch, but I want this to last me all day. So we'll see, I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna, I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna use my Anastasia palette for this. Okay, so for transition shade, I'm gonna use this color right here on this palette. I don't know, they don't have names, so I'm just gonna put it all over the lid to give me a base. You want to blend, 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 blend. That's a lot of follow. And I'm bringing it all the way up. I'm gonna take this orange color from Anastasia called Eden and I'm just gonna apply it right here on the lid to give it a little bit more dimension. I'm, I'm gonna use the same transition brush. I'm gonna put it all the way on my crease and rag it just a little bit to us my eyelash line eyelash line and i know a lot of people like but i like doing both of my eyes at the same time a lot of people do just one eye and then they go back to to their second eye but unfortunately i am not that talented like, I wouldn't remember what I put first. This is a pretty good shit. So, what are you guys doing for Mother's Day? Um, it's looking good. My mommy. We are foodie people, so maybe we're gonna go to brunch or... I was actually gonna make brunch here at the house, but I was like, no go out so we're probably gonna take her out what are you guys giving your mothers for for mother's day hmm? um i got my mom thinks i hope she likes what i got her um oh my god this color is so pretty like it's so so pretty i love this Anastasia Beverly Hill palette. Um, it has calls for everything, for evening, for not evening. So I'm using the 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 brush that it comes with this, but you know, a fluffy brush and a, you know, more of a defining brush, you can use the same. So I'm what I'm gonna do is because I'm gonna do the same thing like on my lower lash right here so again i'm gonna go back with the transition color and then i'm gonna add the orange on top Hi. and that also covers my wrinkle under eye thing because yeah it's getting older the girl's getting older. And I use a lot of lotion, but I can't get rid of those lines. I'm gonna go back to the Anastasia Beverly Hill palette and take that eating color again and just drag it under your lash. right here okay 
Okay, so now I'm gonna add a little bit more of darker shade. Actually, I'm gonna use this brown right here. So I'm gonna use the same brush. I don't change my brushes, it's like whatever. So this is just to cut my crease and give it a little bit more dimension to the eye. looking pretty pretty good all right so now I'm gonna add some gold right here to the middle of my lid even though it's brunch I want to look shined I want to shine so I'm gonna grab some of these pyramid which is a really really like bright gold look at that so pretty and I'm just gonna pat it on my in the middle of my lid oh, look at that look at that it's so nice and just go ahead and do the same on the other eye this brush and I'm gonna grab that orangey color so I not the transition color so I can just blend it all together with my fluffily so it's seamless so it's the transition is seamless Now I'm gonna grab a flat brush like this, and I know I, I use these Bobby Browns, but I don't they don't have numbers, so I can't tell you what number is it. And I'm gonna use a light one to put it on the corner of my eyes and a little bit down here. So another highlighter. I'm gonna use this one right here. And this will bright up your eye. Can you see? All right, so that's it for the eyes. Oh, I forgot to put a little bit on my brow bone. Some of this on my brow bone because it makes it look pretty. All right, and that's it. So now let's contour this face. I for contouring, I normally use my my hula bronzer. I was gonna use the light powder to contour my face, but no. I'm just gonna use my benefit.
suppose let's go into this note because Nose contoured. Let's add some highlighter to my nose. Always the tip of my nose. And a little bit on my nose right here. So. And then I will grab the brush. And I use highlighter before I put my. blinding I'm using the butterscotch from the Anastasia Beverly Hill glow kit for blush I was gonna use Skapinka Pink because this is like a brownish kind of color I have this NYX BO2 and I just love it just gonna pop some here and I'm using the light sh light shade powder from Kat Von D brush let me brush my eyelashes And now for lipstick, I'm just gonna do a nude, I think. Matte color like this. Eyeliner a little bit. Eyeliner. Lip liner a little bit. You can barely see this color, but that's what I like about it. I'm gonna use this essence matte number one for the lips. And let's set all this up with some mist and fix for makeup forever. That's it for my Mother's Day makeup look. Probably do the same thing with my hair. I'll probably either curl it or pick it up. I don't know, depending on how hot it is outside, but that's it, guys. This is my Mother's Day makeup look. It's like a peachy, brownie um, kind of color. Not too dark, not too soft, so it can last all day. And yeah, this is it. It was very... Easy, it's very easy. Three colors, some mascara if you have, you don't have eyelashes, some falsies if you don't have eyelashes. But yeah, I actually like this. That highlighter though, it's so blinding. I love it. I love it. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun making this video. I think the look came up pretty, pretty nice. Um, anyway, make this sure you give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. I'll see you on my next video. Bye.